Now, because of COVID-19, many schools are ordered to close for the remaining school year of 2020 to ensure the safety of parents, teachers, and students. This order was given by Charlie Baker on Tuesday, April 21st. With respect to schools, today our administration is announcing that all public and private schools will remain closed through the end of the school year. We wanted to know how this would impact our residents and faculty. We spoke to students, principals, and school reps about the news. I think that news um, hit me pretty hard. It's really tough that we won't be able to see our students in person again for the rest of the year, and that we had no idea that would be the case when we saw them for the last time. So mm -hmm. we told everybody, see you tomorrow, <laughs> and uh, that was never the case. So that's a bummer. Um, it, it's tough. At the same time, we just have to know that it's the best move right now for everybody's health. Mr. Brown from Prospect Hill had this to say about how this impacted his life. Not being able to, you know, like on these like video calls, right? Like, you know how when you're live in person, you can have a, back, a real back and forth and you can see people's body language and you can um, just being in the same room as everybody else. And, and sort of... Um, not being able to be there for teachers and students when like they have a harder problem that they may need some guidance on not being there in a the moment like we can certainly i get a lot of emails and stuff like that so i can help with emails and sometimes like start next week and do a lot of online seeing kids on on video but um but being there in a the moment um that's very difficult yes i think the hardest part is that this is completely new for everybody um, so there's a lot of technology issues. We don't know how to do everything all the time. So we're learning as we go. We're learning alongside our students. In a lot of cases, I think uh, the students know more about this technology than the teachers do. As a school committee representative, I worry about all of the kids. And so I'm particularly worried about the kids right now whose parents can't be home helping them learn if they need that and the kids who are on IEPs, I don't know if you know what that means, but the kids who are, have some special learning needs and they can't be getting what they need at home. And so I really worry about those kids. Here are some people looking for the positive in this situation. I think one of the biggest things that I've taken away so far is how grateful I am for uh, my own health and safety and that of my family and that it's just something we can't take for granted. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely a different outlook that I'll be carrying with me even once this whole thing is over. Well, being, being thankful for, um, for many things, being thankful for students who like, like you, like who call and say, who want to know what I'm doing and students who are doing their work at home. I'm thankful. I'm learning that I need to be thankful for teachers who work really, really hard to make it done. I'm thankful for actually having our school building when we get back, um, actually being a, have a place where we can all gather. Um, so I, I'm also thankful for the time, uh, the extra time I can spend with my own child. Um, I'm thankful for, uh, um, for the time that I can actually practice my music. I, I, I'm a musician, so I'm able to do that. Um, but yeah, I've, lear I've learned a lot. I've learned to be thankful in the things that um, that are, and that's the things that I don't have. One of the lessons is that our economy is not as strong as people thought it was. If it just took a pandemic for millions of people to lose their jobs, it also highlights inequalities in our society. And so we have wealthy people who can just work from home and hold themselves in at home and they'll be fine. And you have poor people who still have to be going to work and are exposing themselves and risking their lives. I think it's also an indication of why we need to have better systems for healthcare, because you also have tons of people losing their jobs, and because their jobs are tied to their health insurance, they're also losing their health insurance. And the last thing you need in a pandemic is people worried about going to see a doctor or calling the doctor because they don't have health insurance. Although everyone misses the school environment, they all agree that this is the best option right now until this pandemic passes. We thank all the teachers, faculty, and students who are doing their part.